I'm Shigeo Ijui. I'm a torture sommelier. I help people get true justice. We're all legal under the law, but some people don't play by the rules. Uh, live out of my way! Huh? Damn it, you peasant! Uh, hello? Rich guys like him? They think they can do anything. Sir, are you drunk? <laughs> Shut up, it's her fault, not mine! Uh, I'll pay you anything you want, just make this go away. Sometimes you can use money to make things go away. But not on our watch. That's him. Run him over. Yes, sir! This is your fault, not mine! Ah! <gasps> Serving true justice to those who deserve it. Help me! Ah! Nope! Die, you piece of shit! That was my job as a torture sommelier. One day I was seeing a client. So, how can I help you? Well... It was this young man. Looks like he was hurt. It looked pretty serious. Ah, uh, these rich guys. They humiliated me and killed my friend. I want you to make him suffer. He had this look in his eyes. He wanted blood. His name was Inada. He was an ordinary young man. Get a move on! Yes, sir. Uh, what day? He worked multiple jobs to make ends meet. He didn't have much, but on payday, he always went out for drinks with his friend. Uh, finally, payday! Let's go party! Yeah! He lit for this moment. It was his favorite time of the month. Then one night, him and his friend found this new bar. Yusuke, look at this place. Drinks are really cheap. All right! Let's go inside! The place looked really fancy, but the drinks were affordable. So they went in. They had a wide collection of alcohol. Very good ones, too. I can't believe I'm drinking this. I must be in heaven! Yeah, this place is great! The booze was top of the line, and the prices were low. They were loving it. But then... What the? I'm getting sleepy. Yeah, me too. I... A few minutes later, they both passed out. Then when they woke up, they were out in the middle of nowhere. What the? Why am I naked? And their clothes were gone. He took a look around, and there were others just like him. Uh, What's going on? No idea. I was drinking at a bar, and there were six of them. None of them knew what was going on. Then... Uh, what the? So bright! They saw these headlights coming towards them. Then they saw this guy standing in front of them. Ah, they look good! It's been a while, so I thought I'd make this interesting. They were hunters. I'm Nikaido. This is my land. And I brought you all here because we want to hunt you. What? At first, my client didn't understand what they meant by that. What is this? What the hell is going on? I told you, we're going to hunt you. Don't make me repeat myself. <laughs> he shot him point blank. Then, everyone started running. Ah! Run! But to where? Ah! Let's go into that forest! There was a small forest. My client and his friend ran towards it. Hinata! What now? Just run! He's got a gun! He said this was his land. We have to get out and call for help! Then they ran into another girl in the forest. She was on the run as well. It was really dark out, but the victims ran as fast as they could. Uh! Got him! One by one, the hunters started taking them out. They were terrified and enraged. Is this a fence? Yeah, come on! My client and his friends arrived at this fence. Jump over this, and they were free to go. But then... Ah! Ah! What the... They both got shot. The hunters caught up to them. I'm surprised you got this far. You all did very well. He complimented them, but it was clear he didn't care about them one bit. My client asked him, Why? Why are you doing this? Because I love to hunt. 
But I got tired of animals, so now I hunt the poor. Then he pointed his gun towards him. He knew he was done for. But then... It's like a hero! His friend who got shot, he jumped on Nikaido. Run, Inada! Go get help! Don't touch me, you peasant! Ah, get off of me! Ah! He started climbing the fence. Die! Die, you little! I'll shoot him! But then, one of his guys took a shot. <laughs> what the? The girl they met in the forest? She jumped in front of the bullet to save him. Go! Hurry! Avenge us! Hinata! Get these guys! I'm counting on you! The two of them sacrificed their lives to save him. My client ran like there was no tomorrow. Ah! One of the hunters shot him right in the eye. I got this! Ah! But he didn't fall down. He kept running. Then, a few hours later, he finally found a police station. Please believe me! Which guy hunting humans? Oh, come on. Let's get you to a hospital! The cops didn't believe him, though. After the client received treatment, he went back into the city. They're gonna come after me for sure. I gotta be careful. He was on the lookout for Nikaido's men. Then, a few days later, he met this old guy. I see. I know someone who might be able to help. Please introduce me to him! Then he heard about me. After he told me what happened, he started taking off the bandage around his head. Please, sir. I want you to make him suffer! His right eye was gone. The scar looked extremely painful. We did nothing wrong! But he hunted us like animals. So what if he's rich? He can't treat people like this! He wanted vengeance. My mind was already made up. I got you. I'll take your case. Thank you. Thank you so much. Time for me to get to work. Hunting the innocent for fun. Filthy animals. Time to pay for what you did. They were as good as dead. I never lose my prey. Never. I started looking into Nikaido right away. He's a CEO of a big food manufacturing company. He's got all kinds of connections. Yeah. When people have too much money and power, sometimes they go crazy. He owned the bar as well. It was probably a trap to find participants for a sick game. My plan was to take out Nikaido and his hunter friends. Let's go get drunk then. That's the easiest way to find out where they're hiding at. Rukawa, here. Put this in your mouth so you don't pass out. Okay then, time to hunt. We went inside and ordered a drink. Hmm, I can taste the sleeping pills. A few minutes later, I started feeling drowsy. The other customers there, they were all knocked out cold. Rukawa, you okay? Yeah, the Menji gave me word. I'll be okay. How can they do this to innocent people? Then, some guys showed up and carried all of us to a truck. Rukawa, next time the truck stops, let's get these people out of here. Okay. No need for them to get involved in all of this. A few hours later, we arrived in Nikaido's property. They took our clothes. That said, just two of them? Weird, I thought there were five of them. Whatever, my guests are waiting, hurry up. These guys made me sick. Looking good. Okay then, let's begin. But I pretended to be asleep for a little while longer. Then we heard some voices. This is it? No worries, it happens. Yeah, sorry. Wake him up! I think his friends are here. Well, they're all here now, so... I guess we can stop pretending now. Let's go, Rukawa! Yes, sir! What the? Uh, they were up the entire time? We got up and started running as fast as possible. They started shooting at us. Go! Let's shoot them in the leg! What the? Why? Why can't I land a shot on them? We were too quick for them. We ran into the forest and started preparing. Today, I'll show you how to torture people out in the wilderness. Thank you, sir. This forest had everything I needed. 
A few minutes later, Nikaido's friend showed up. I'll start with him. Last time, Aizawa-san scored more than me, so I'm gonna get them both this time! He had a shotgun, but it was dark out and we had the advantage. First, I set up some bamboo whips. Ah! The guy walked straight into it. Normally, you use sharp bamboo sticks, but I had to improvise this time. You see that? You gotta learn to make that yourself. Ah! My stomach! Yes, sir! I added some thorns on the tip for extra damage. Then the other guy showed up. I wrapped the vines around his neck. What, Dad? Gotcha! Gah! I started pulling as fast as I could. After taking them out, we took their clothes. I really don't want to wear this. No worries. This will all be over soon. It was getting pretty chilly out, so we had no choice. Then, a few minutes later, Nikaido showed up looking for his friends. Where did you guys go? Welcome to your graveyard! Oh! That was too easy. We stripped him and tied him to a big tree. Let me go! You know who I am? Some crazy rich guy who lost his mind. Here you go, sir. Time to begin. I knew it was a waste of time to ask, but... You killed the innocent for no reason. You make me sick. What did you say to me? His face turned red from anger. Oh, I'm rich! That makes me better than others! I can do whatever I want. I'm above the law! Oh, yeah? Yeah! Those poor bastards should be grateful to be a part of this. This guy made me sick. I've heard enough. You like hunting, right? Well, let's see how you like this. What the? What is this? I opened the bottle of wine and started pouring it all over his face. Then, a few minutes later, the insects started gathering. <sighs> Get away from me! Ouch! Stop! The wine's sweet aroma attracted all kinds of insects towards him. Some of them were poisonous, too. Then, small animals that fed on small insects started to gather around. Ouch, it hurts! Oh! Hey now, don't move around too much. If you scare them, they might poison you. Either way, he's dead, but... Then, as the small animals started eating his flesh... Help me, please! I'll give you all of my money! He started begging me to let him go. So, that makes you a peasant, right? Yes, I'm a peasant! This guy will say anything to save his own life. Well, the thing is, I'm rich, so I'm better than you. So no, I'm not gonna help you. But hey, you should be grateful that you get to be a part of this. Burn in hell, you maggot. Ah! Oh! Look at him now. Nakaido suffered for many hours. Then he finally died. He went back to nature. That's a pretty good way to go for a guy like him. I agree. With him gone, the world would be a better place. I also exposed everyone on Nikaido's guest list. They were done for. I guess that's it then. Hopefully, this will help my client move on with his life. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out our other videos. And please subscribe to the channel.